In this video we're going to work on calculating currents. So we know that current flows from the positive end of a battery to the negative end and let's highlight a route that goes from positive to negative. So current flows out of the positive end of the battery, splits at this intersection and some can go through B and A. So on this route we can use Ohm's law that states that current equals the voltage divided by the resistance. So for A and B, I have 3 volts from the battery, and that 3 volts has to push through 40 ohms. I got 40 by adding 10 and 30. So 3 divided by 40 gives me 0 0.075 amps, and that will be the current for A and B. Our other route, from positive to negative, which I'll highlight in blue, takes us from the positive end through resistor C and back to the negative end of the battery. So that we have, just for resistor C, we have 3 volts to push through 10 ohms, giving us 0 0.3 amps. So we know after they break off, that 0 0.075 amps went this way and 0 0.3 amps went this way. That means my total current is going to be 0 0.375 amps which I got by adding 0 0.075 and 0 0.3 amps. You'll notice that I didn't count that 0 0.075 twice because the current that flows through B is the same current that flows through A. and I had two routes. Alright, in this next problem, let's go ahead and start by highlighting a route. So from the positive end of the battery, we can trace just through resistor A and back to the negative end of the battery. So for resistor A, I can do 240 volts. So Ohm's law again, divided by 300 ohms. and that gives us 0 0.8 amps for A. Our next route from positive to negative goes through resistors B and C. So I can do 240 volts divided by 300 ohms again, but this 300 came from adding the 100 and 200 ohms together. And so that will again give me 0 0.8 amps and that was for resistors B and C. Lastly for resistor D, if we highlight that route in yellow, that would just take us through resistor D. So to calculate for resistor D, we can do 240 volts divided by 100 ohms and that gives us 2.4 amps. All right, so we know that we have three different routes, and so I should be adding up three different currents. So the first route only took us through A, so we'll add that 0.8 with another 0.8 for B and C, but I don't want to count those separately, and then also add the 2.4. For B. So for the source, I'm going to add 0 0.8 plus another 0 0.8 plus 2.4, and that will give me a total of 4 amps. You'll notice that the most current always travels to uh, through the path with the least resistance.